सो वेलकम बैक टू अमेजिक ट्यूटोरियल्स फॉर केमिस्ट्री लेट्स डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्काइल हेलाइट दैट इज फ्रॉम एल्कीस डबल बॉन्ड करेक्ट सो हियर अगेन देर आर टू प्रिपरेशन वन इज एडिशन ऑफ हेलोजन एसिड्स एंड वन मोर इज देर एडिशन ऑफ हेलोजन सो लेट्स चेक दिस वन फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ हेलोजन एसिड्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई हेलोजन एसिड एच सी एल वन हेलोजन एंड इट इज एन एसिड एसिड मीन्स विच गिवस एच प्लस करेक्ट सो एच सी एल सो जनरली वी विल राइट दिस सो फ्रॉम एल्कीस करेक्ट सो आई टेक अ सिंपल एल्कीन सी डबल बॉन्ड सी satisfying the valency of carbon ethene i have taken okay ethene alkene halogen acid so it is hx it can be any cl br also okay now over here in this preparation that is from alkenes addition of halogen acid we have one rule rule we are having and it is called as mar kov nikov mar ko nikov's rule now what is this rule actually is statement of the rule the negative part of the reagent the negative part of the reagent it attaches to the carbon okay to the carbon having less hydrogen i just written like point wise so marconico rule states that the negative part of the reagent okay among this two alkene and halogen acid which is the reagent here hx halogen acid is the reagent okay this is the reactant fine so the negative part of the reagent negative part which is the negative part here if i write hcl correct which is the negative part cl is the negative part okay it will attach to the carbon of the reactant having less number of hydrogens fine okay so here i have just taken one example of ethene now in case of ethene you can see the carbon to carbon both the carbon are having equal number of hydrogens this carbon having two hydrogen this carbon having two hydrogen correct but if you take one more example that is of propene if you take propene 1 2 3 1 1 2 1, correct then you need to check negative part of the reagent hx in that halogen is a negative part it will attach to the carbon of the double bond which is having c double bond c to any one of this carbon only it will attach where it will attach to the carbon having less hydrogens now in propene this carbon is having two hydrogen this carbon is having one hydrogen so where will x attach halogen attach to this carbon so that is the rule and when you are using this rule this rule absence of peroxides peroxides we know na2o2 h2o2 hydrogen peroxide sodium peroxide okay so when you are using this rule while writing the product no peroxide should be present this can happen in the absence of peroxide okay so we have two rules here same rule only so i'll write here as marconico's rule m rule just in short i am writing okay so negative part of the reagent will attach to the carbon having less hydrogen okay i'll write here carbon having less hydrogen and that carbon should be of the double bond carbon okay and it takes place in the absence of peroxide okay second one is anti marconico's rule 
anti marconico rule means what just the opposite of that correct so same negative part of the reagent will attach to the carbon having more hydrogen and it will take place in the presence of peroxide fine so now let's take the same example or we'll take one more example other than the propene so i'm taking one example of c c c double bond c 1 2 3 1 2 1 1 2 what is this compound butene four carbons double bond is there so it is butene okay now you have to attach hx follow first marconico rule so what it is negative part that means x will attach to the carbon having less number of hydrogen so where will x attach to this carbon correct because that carbon is having only one hydrogen this carbon it is attached to two hydrogen okay so if we are applying marconico rule x will attach to the second carbon now apply anti marconico's rule what is anti marconico's rule carbon more hydrogen right carbon more hydrogen so this carbon is having more hydrogen this carbon is having less hydrogen so x will attach to that carbon and check for the valency you just have to substitute that hydrogen from that compound you need not attach more x over here like this correct so marconico rule in the absence of peroxide anti marconico rule in the presence of peroxide so hope this rule it is clear to you and also the first preparation is clear to you if it is symmetrical means you can attach it to any of the carbon of the double bond but if it is unsymmetrical alkene just the way we have taken one example then you apply this rule and check for the products so hope it is clear to you just make a note of this the next preparation again from alkenes the second type that is addition of halogens so to alkene halogen is added you are adding okay now there is a double bond in the compound if you add the halogen what will happen already hydrogen is present right correct you are adding br2 to bromine now check for the valency of each carbon 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 single bond now it will not form a double bond here correct it will be a single bond so what is the name of this compound 1 comma 2 di bromo all single single bonds two carbon so ethene this is ethene bromine is the halogen added so the double bond will break and it will form a single bond compound correct 1 comma 2 dibromo ethene so this preparation of alkyl halide from alkenes is over